Okay, ready? Okay. Oh my God, oh my God. Hi, my name is David Deng. I'm a celebrity hairstylist, hair trichologist, and I transform people's lives. The first thing I think of hair is something that I have to always keep in one place, keep it tidy. It happens when I'm at work because I'm a nurse, so it has to be up at home. I have a baby, so it has to be up. It used to be something that I can feel pretty about. Now it's just something that gets in the way. I'm just plain Jane, no bangs, long hair. I've always been on this journey trying to find what kind of style matches my personality. The first thing I think of when I think of hair is work. Lots and lots of work. Ever since I was a kid, my hair has always been in some kind of style. I never just had my hair just out because that wasn't okay. I went through a period of rapid weight loss. When you lose weight really, really quickly, your hair falls out. Most guys pay no attention to what's really happening with their hair or it starts not to be there anymore and then you panic. I think it's hard for girls with curly hair to find the right style. Like a typical Latina mom, she would give me the tightest, most slick back ponytail. I look at girls and I think, I wish I could do that to my hair if only I had straight hair. My hair is pretty thin. You would watch all the commercials with the amazing hair and you do all those things and it still looks flat. My hair style is dictated by the fact that I don't like spending time with it. Well, when I think of hair, um, I do think of my sister. She um, passed away two years ago from leukemia, but her hair was always on point. When she'd have her chemo days, she would have me put on her makeup. And she's like, even though I have no hair, honey, she's like, you gotta do my face. Since her passing, I would do the best that I could. But now with being a mom, it's a little bit more challenging. Today's gonna be a great hair day. And she's gonna be right there watching. And she's gonna be like, yes. There's a story behind every haircut. It's a hair journey. I'm feeling that I'm gonna give your sister the honor of something spectacular and miraculous. I'm visioning something really simple, yet still eleganza. Too. And that's important, yeah. You shouldn't lose yourself just because you have a family or a job. You've kind of put your hair back over here. Is yeah. this kind of like the style that you're, you like to go for? Yeah, it's my way of feeling a little edgy. I've never been able to get good bangs. Oh, so you've been up. bangry. There's like gonna be two things that I'm gonna be talking to you about. Covering your hair and then more of a styling of your hair. With your permission, I feel like we should go natural today. You know, your struggles like, I have to be more black than the black people. I have to be more white than the white people. Same thing here, like you're living two different lives. It's exhausting. No, for sure. Right? <laughs> yeah. This is untouched. You're a virgin. Uh, hair yeah. virgin. <laughs> and I think that that's so empowering as like a hairstylist yeah. because you've given me the opportunity to just go with it. Let's do this. Yeah, let's All right, do it. Let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you before I start because this is a really huge step. Okay. Is it cool if I shave you? Are you serious? <laughs> you wanna close your eyes? I'm already closing my oh, eyes. Oh, okay. Oh shoot, you're already there. Curly hair is its own class. All these people who are red carpet, they have waves in their hair. That's essentially curls. It's curl power. You wanna embrace those curls because those are what's working for you. A lot of moms go like, I don't wanna try anything new. The maintenance, I have no time. But remember, if the stylist is giving you the correct consultation, the maintenance can actually be as easy as pie. Moms, you rock, and we're here to show you that. First word that comes to your mind, okay? Shorter. The stigma of cutting short hair on girls. I'm super nervous because I don't know how short you're going. They go like, oh, don't cut your hair. Your hair's beautiful. I'm talking about having that open conversation of like, why you want to cut your hair? There's a liberating fact about it. Your hair can grow better. It's less likely to get split ends. Live a little bit. Don't worry. Hair goes back. We have a virgin client. That's a stylish stream. Blank canvas. Coloring hair is not as scary as you think because coloring your hair is almost like coloring your life. Still be you but have a little bit of, oh, I'm someone else. For men, they have something called DHT. It's like a testosterone, and it blocks follicles from growing. They can either be like losing here, losing it back here, losing a little here, patchiness. For every 100,000 men that are losing hair, 50,000 women are. It's diffused thinning. It's everywhere. So we're speaking to women to figure out where your areas of concern are and how we can get you from point zero to 10. I'm going to send you to one of my really, really great friends. And I feel like a lot of the culture where we sabotage each other is like, oh, you have to have straight hair. Who said that that's the best way to do things? There's another way to feel your hair breathe again and to accept that as something that's so beautiful. I'm so ready. Oh my God, I'm another human. <laughs> what? It's like, wow, I it's love like it. It's like another you. Like this cut is just fun. Yeah. Like you can even scrunch it and just let it go. That lived in kind of hair. And you're not bangry. <laughs> I'm not bangry, I have yeah. bangs. You're oh banging. Open.
Oh my god. What do you think? It looks it's so cool. clean and you have a cute scalp. This is a natural wave. People want this. I have never had a haircut where I love how curly my hair looks. I look 18 again. <laughs> I feel lighter, I feel livelier, I feel younger. This is the most authentic haircut I think I've given because my mom struggled and I think the last thing she thought about was her looks. I feel like you are empowering as a person. Thank you. I really like it. I'm surprised by how you really can't see the receding hairline. What this looks like is effortless. Yeah. I literally woke up, judged my hair a little bit, and then bam, here we go. <gasps> it looks gorgeous. It feels like there's a vibrancy to it that I didn't have before. And it feels full. Exactly, yeah. I didn't tease your hair at all. Mm -mm. This is no tease. Mm -mm. This is straight up a blow dry. You're gonna get some looks, girl. Honey, my sister approves. Oh, I love it. I'm so happy. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel very open. I feel very free right now. I can touch my scalp for once. I feel like this is another great option for you. You're embodying everything that I think that a woman stands for, and a woman stands for her hair. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> wow! That's crazy. It looks so much fuller, and that's just color. This is a sweet color. Dude, it's hot. I'm into this. It's the easiest thing to maintain. This is awesome. Yeah, you're definitely a fox. My advice for girls who never do anything with their hair is to get somebody trusted and just let them go wild with it. People forget that this is forever. And whether you're losing it or whether you have a lot of it, it's there. That's why we made this video for people out there who don't have a voice for hair. My husband's gonna say, Rare. <laughs> just let your hair be free. Keep trying new things, and I think that really helps you grow as a person. As my sister would say, she'd be like, mm-hmm, honey, that's how you do your hair, girl.